Okay, so this is the file that you sent me today, and obviously this is the object over here. Over here is supposed to be the picture, but the picture that you were using wasn't packed in the file, so I'll have to replace it, which is okay, because uh, I can show you how to do that and show you how easy it is. Um, I'm going to hit Replace Image right here, and go to here, and pick this full file here. Okay. So I now have a new image which replaced your Big Daddy JPG image. Um, the name of the file is down here. This isn't the file name. Although the file name is the default, I can change this to anything I want, like photo. Um, now the next thing that I noticed is if you come over to the 3D window over here, you'll see that only these dots at the bottom are highlighted and those are the dots that correspond or are mapped with this image over here that's not exactly what you want if I turn this up on its side like this and zoom in a little and zoom in I can hit control all and zero to make that current view the camera view and now if I hit F12 you can't really see but your image was mapped onto the very bottom of the photo. Um, it's so thin you can't even see it. So I'm going to hit escape, um, go back to the front view and hit control alt zero again. Now I'm going to, uh, let's see now, I'll hit N to bring up my property panel, lock camera view, and zoom out. Now I will pan down like this and now we have uh, the whole picture back in the in the viewport so I'm gonna uncheck lock camera to view. Now I'm gonna go into my 3D window and hit A to deselect everything and then A to select everything. Now I have all the vertices selected I'm going to hit U for UV mapping and reset. That gets rid of everything. Um, just so I can see it a little better, I'm going to hit N to get rid of that panel. I'm going to move the mouse to the middle here in between the two windows until the icon changes to two arrows pointing left and right. Then I'm going to left click and drag it over here. This will make my 3D window a little bit bigger. Okay, so if I zoom in, uh, I'm going to go to just uh, view one here, and decimal point to zoom in. I can see that you've done your left edge a little, a little wrong here. Um, there's very little border over here, so I'll show you how to fix that. Um, first, I'm going to hit A to deselect everything, and I am going to hit the vertice. Uh, selection down at the bottom. I'm going to come over to right about here um, which is along one of these edges. I'm going to hit the shift key on my keyboard and right click and that picked the vertice. That's not what I wanted. Hey, let's get rid of that. What I want to do is a loop select. It's not doing it though. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Okay, let's pick right here. What is going? Oh, that's my problem. What I want to do is not hit Shift. But it's Alt and right click. So when I I'm moving the mouse right here, I'm going to hit the Alt key and then right click. And what it did is it picked. If I zoom out, this vertice here this vertice and basically it picked everything along that line right there along the left edge now that I've done that I can move those vertices with this uh, red arrow I'll click on the red arrowhead and then drag it to the right and you can see it moving back and forth I'm going to move it a little bit to the right so that I have a good border and then unclick now I have a border all the way around I'm going to switch over 
to face select down here. I'm going to click face select and then right click right in the middle here to pick that one face. And now I'm going to hit U and unwrap. Now if I come over here to my photo you can see a square and if I hit A I can pick all of these now. So this rectangle right here is now mapped to this part of the picture. And if I hit F12, what do we have? Okay. So the photo is mapped correctly, but you, you don't have the border defined, so it kind of did whatever it wanted with this photo and stuck it around all the way around, made a, a weird edge. So let's go ahead and make the white border material. Um, I'm going to come over to our list and make it a little longer. Come up here and hit the plus sign and then new for new material. I'm going to click on the name right here and type in white border. I'm going to come back to the window here where we did the render and change it to the 3D view. Now I have that one face selected. I want to select everything but that face. So I'll hit control. Actually, before I do that, while that face is selected, let's just make sure that the photo, click photo in your list over here and then assign. Come back to your 3D window, hit control I to inverse your selection. Then I'm going to pick white border and assign. And now when I render it, I should get a photo with a white border and I do. Um, now it's too dark because the light is not shining on the photo so I'll hit escape. Go back to the 3D view. I'm going to hit 7 on the number pad to go to the top view. Decimal point to auto scale and then I'm going to scale out a little bit. So over here is my light but in order to select it I have to get out of the edit mode. So I can hit edit and go to the object mode and now I can select the lamp. I'm going to change the lamp to a sun. I'm going to click the use node button and change the strength to 2. Now I can click this green arrow right here to move the lamp in the Y direction. So now I'm on the right side of the photo, the correct side of the photo. I'll hit the red arrow, left click and drag it so that it's in the front but the sun has a direction and right now it's pointing off to the left so I'm going to hit R on the uh, keyboard and then I'm just going to move the mouse I haven't clicked anything yet just move the mouse and when you get it pointed in the right direction then you left click so now it's pointing at least from the top view it's pointing towards the photo I'm going to look at it now from the right view so I'll hit 3 on the numpad and you can see that the, the sun is pointing at a downward angle. I can't really see the photo unless I rotate it a little bit like this. Um, but if I go back to 3, the other way to see it is if I hit Z, it puts it in wireframe mode. Then you can see the photo. If I hit Z again, it puts it back into the solid. I can also do it by coming down here next to the object mode is this little white circle, which is the solid view. I can change it to wireframe. Anyway, when it's in wireframe, you can see the photo from the side, even if it's very thin, even if it's a plane with no thickness. So now that I have it there, I'm going to move this light. I'm going to click the green arrow, drag it to the left, and then I'm going to click the blue arrow and drag it down. And then I'm going to hit R, move the mouse, and then left click. Now the sun is pointing right at the photograph. I can hit Z to go from wireframe back to the solid mode. I can hit 0 on the numpad to look at it from the camera view. And then I'll hit F12 to render. So there's the photograph. And that's how you fix your Blender file.